right, here we go. Beer Barrels and Blockbusters coming at you. I am Dustin Martin, your host of the most and your secret lover. Don't worry, no one suspects a thing. I'll pick you up tonight in the alley behind the dollar store. Just make sure you park your car in the Amtrak parking lot. We don't want a repeat of the Chili's incident. That was too close. God, I've missed you so much. Sorry, I got caught up in that one. Anyway, yes, beer. This is a show where we talk about beer, not extramarital affairs. That's my other podcast, Bone Zoning on the Down Low. But here, on this podcast, we typically go through one beer sale per episode, breaking it down stylistically, talking about the history, the brewing methods, characteristic ingredients, etc. Today, however, we're going to be talking about two beer styles. That's right, it's bonus beer time. I mean, not really. Our two styles are nearly identical to one another. I'm not sure why they're separated in the guide. They are the Czech Pale Lager and Czech Premium Pale Lager styles. The difference in the two is fairly straightforward. Czech Pale Lager is lower in alcohol, lighter in body, and slightly less intense than Czech Premium Pale Lager. Also, Czech Premium Pale Lager is the official BJCP name for what is commonly referred to as a Czech Pilsner. Actually, in the Czech Republic, only Pilsner or Kel is referred to as a Pilsner, but in the rest of the world, we call lots of beers Pilsners. That means we are bringing with our pattern today, too. I had been going German, American, British, Belgian, repeat, but like, I was all set to do another German beer style today. I had one picked out and everything. It was going to be German Pils. But then I thought about it, and it made more sense for me to cover Czech Pilsner before doing German Pils. From a historical standpoint, it just makes more sense. So here we are. I may do a German style next episode. Then again, I may not. This might be the point where we devolve into complete chaos here. Let's find out. 